Este es Aron con Ana Computers.com, otro video para ti hoy. Received a chat message. I have my live chat feature on my website, Ana Computers.com. I do not monitor it after normal business hours, but there's a feature that keeps a history, or people can send me an email. So my traffic funneling, I think, is successful and as planned. Leave your question via the link in the description box of this video. They wanted to know how to acquire compact recovery media. I'm looking for a compact recovery kit, David. Hewlett Packard purchased compact quite a few years ago and basically you're probably not going to be able to acquire recovery media for compact. I don't know for a fact. I don't call Hewlett Packard as a computer repair technician, I usually either use the factory recovery partition or sometimes my customers have recovery media. I do not spend money, I don't order media, I don't charge my customers. I just, if I do not have the factory recovery, I just use an OEM copy of Windows, type in the certificate of authenticity, num product ID, and that's it. However, you might want to call them. You never know. I've never contacted them personally. You could try it, but most likely for compacts and even Hewlett Packard computers that I'm not sure what the age cutoff is, but they do not support computers. The older they get, the less likely that you're able to obtain media. However, I have a one year old, I think this was manufactured last year. HP X360 tablet. Well, it's not a t well, it's a hybrid notebook, tablet, whatever. I'm going to use this as demonstration purposes. This is a nice computer. Very nice. I'm going to show you what it takes to order media directly from HP off their website. So, first, you want to browse to hp.com. Second, you want to obtain your model number. Now, it depends on the type of Hewlett Packard computer it is, desktop, laptop, notebook, tablet. Starting in 2010, Hewlett Packard stipulates that they started to imprint the model numbers on a sticker underneath the battery. Now, if you notice this computer, it doesn't have a battery you can take out. You have to take out this cover first. However, the model number which I will try to show you really quickly on screen I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it let's see it's very small writing you might be able to see it you might not be able to very small it has a model number and it has a serial number whoops I fucked up let's try that again It has the model number and the serial number as above, so below as those shills, scumbag, secret society member, Freemasons. I'm not saying all Freemasons are scumbags, but to me, meeting in secret and conspiring and then rigging economies and being selfish is just disgusting to me. So the model number, you'll need the model number and you'll need the serial number. Now on this HP, it's not on a sticker, it's on, it's on the bottom. If it's a laptop, tablet, notebook, look on the bottom. If it's the type of Hewlett Packard here, I have an older one. I'll be right back. If it's a type of Hewlett Packard like this, this is a compact with a model number and a serial number. I'll show this to you on camera as well. So if it's this type, it, look for a sticker like this. And if it's not on a sticker underneath, it might be on a sticker behind the battery. 
So you'd have to take out the battery. Come on. Like that. Now this does have a sticker. It does have, it has Broadcom information, the Wi-Fi. But if it's not here, then look, take out the battery and look for it on the sticker here. A desktop should be on the back, the back side of an H Hewlett Packard or a compact. You probably won't be able to obtain compact discs. I don't know for a fact. I've never, you know, called up HP and requested compact discs, but you know what I'm saying. When I studied and looked into this, they claimed that after a few years, they no longer inventory recovery media so you know what I'm saying but you never know you never know it's worth a shot if you're that desperate you know you want to get the operating system reinstalled it's worth a shot calling them you just never know they will most likely charge they might charge you you know a little extra but you know who knows it might be worth a shot alright so now let's show you on the website so you have to have your model number serial number then click on support or you know select support to drop down menu then choose software and drivers. Now enter an HP product name, product number, or serial number. So I'm going to enter in off of the new this newer one because I already looked it up. This is a 13-128NR. So make sure you type it in correctly click on find it should take you to the product specifications page make sure you type in the model number correctly make sure you type in the serial number correctly or the product number you can enter in all three to to find your computer it found this computer in their database HP Pavilion X360 13S 128NR now scroll down almost to the bottom until you see the order recovery media CD DVD USB click on the plus to expand down below I'm not a Freemason don't don't no nope I've studied secret societies they exist and they're nefarious the Knights of Columbus the Freemasons the Jesuits there's think tanks like the Council on Foreign Relations. There are so many secret groups in America, and Americans wonder why there's so much corruption. Moving on, I digress back to looking up your CD recovery media. There's an order media kit. Now, I'm assuming that I'm going to try this on this older computer. If I was a betting man, there will not be recovery media for that compact computer. You know what I'm saying? It's older. It's only a dual core. It's quite a bit older. But we'll, we'll find out. If there is recovery media, you should see this order media link. If there is no recovery media, you probably won't see anything down here. You notice on to the right, it has the number one. So there's only one type of recovery media. System recovery kit for consumer notebook. Now, the date is November 22nd, 2016. So this computer is not that old. Click on order media. You'll be, you'll probably be prompted with this pop-up. You have to choose your model again. Make sure you choose the correct. You have to have the exact same model number because not, believe it or not, just because it's a Pavilion X360, look at all the different models. There could be different chipsets. There could be different video graphics card chipset. There could be, you know, the motherboard might be different. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you choose the, the exact same model that is imprinted on your device that's on the sticker. So I'm going to scroll down to select the 128 and R right here. Click on confirm. I hate this warning. I don't know why you're fucking... Why are you distracting me with printer support? I didn't come here for printer support. Goodbye. Goodbye. I do like it. It's a paradox. I don't like Hewlett Packard's website. Sometimes I do like their website. I think Hewlett Packard and Dell do a pretty good job with their 
websites. But I'm, you know, I don't like every facet of their websites. Like fucking an annoying distraction. <laughs> All right. So in this first window, customer information, everything is mandatory except for two fields. You're going to have to enter your first name, last name, email, confirm your email address. That's where you will receive your order number and confirmation and maybe shipping information. Phone number. Company is optional. So if you have a business, that's optional. You might want to put down your business name. Shipping street address. The address line two is optional. I'm assuming that's if you have a suite like I do. I have an office with a suite number or maybe an apartment number. You know what I'm saying? And then shipping zip code. The, the red asterisks are mandatory, those fields. Then after entering this information, you would click on next. And at the top, it says here, price shown on next step. So you do not have to go through this entire order process if you just want to quote. You just want it. You're just curious or, you know, most Americans are not that well off. You have these snobs on YouTube that brag about having, you know, $500 this, $1,000 iPhone. Well, I just, you know, they brag about their Porsche Cayenne. They brag about all this garbage they have. But from my experiences, most of my customers are, I don't, I don't want to digress into an activist type speech, but most of my customers are dollar conscience and they're not poor. I don't like the word poor. I don't, I don't like judging people based upon, upon how much money they have or they don't have. That's silly. That's a symptom of capitalism. Capitalism is wretched. To me, at least. So if you are dollar conscious, you could just get a quick quote to find out how much these media cost. I would say somewhere around 20 to 40 bucks because they're going to charge you shipping. You know what I'm saying? I guess I could, you know, why, what's the point? You know, you ent this is where you have to have your serial number. Oh, one, one quick caveat. Make sure that you enter in your correct first name and last name because this five-step process uses the first name, last name that you enter in, the customer information name for your credit card. They have to match. If you have a different first name, last name, and then when you enter in the payment information, the payment might not go through but it, because it sounds like maybe HP doesn't allow you to use somebody else's credit card. So, And there's a note here. I think it might be at the bottom. Please. Okay, I know I saw it somewhere. Oh, right here. Please note, the name entered must match the name on the credit card used for purchasing. So this is a five-step process. That's it. That's how you start the order process online for your recovery media. Now, I'm going to if if you, you know, I'm going to try it on an older computer. So if you're not interested in that, then, you know, you don't have to watch the rest of this video. But if you want to watch me enter in an older HP Compact laptop and see what happens, well, then continue on. Leave your questions via the link in the description box of this video. That includes Daily Motion, VidMe, YouTube, and in the future, possibly other platforms. I don't rely just on YouTube anymore. That, in my opinion, is foolish. It's foolish that old cliche of keeping all of your video eggs in one YouTube basket to me could be suicidal. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but I am. So let's try this computer and see what happens. Oh, they just, they want to nag me about printer. I'm not a printer customer. <laughs> No, I don't need support for my Samsung printer. If I did, I would look it up. But thank you. Thank you, Hewlett Packard, for annoying me and distracting me. Okay. So let's go start the process again. I think I'm going to click back because this website got the country code wrong. And so let's... I don't want to digress about that. Here. I was writing my blog post, and then I was... All of my videos, I pre-plan ahead of time. I write the blog post. I make sure 
the URLs are correct. I make sure that the menu is correct when I tell you to click on, you know, when I tell you to look for a certain button or a certain drop down, or I even put it in quotes to make sure it's as accurate as possible. Well, then the next time I went and browsed to hp.com, the website was in a different language, and I could not clear that. And if I, w I would have had to clear my cookies, well, I was writing my blog post. Then I would have been logged off from WordPress. So I opened it up in Mozilla Firefox. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So here is a Hewlett Packard. However, this is when Hewlett Packard bought Compaq. For a while, they called it HP Compaq. So the logo is HP I will show you oops the logo is HP oops I forgot to make my hair messy because I know that annoys people yeah I intentionally make my hair messy to annoy people the trolls on YouTube although it's been so peaceful my peaceful one person revolution where I don't have to deal with you bastards on YouTube and I'm speaking of you trolls and you content creators that just obsessively attacked me over the last few months it's been nothing but peace and quiet the way I like it so here's HP it's got the logo but on the sticker it says compact 6510B So we're going to enter that in. It does have a serial number too. And it has a service tag. Dells have service tags as well. So we're going to enter in Compaq 6510B. If I was a betting man, I won't be able to order Recovery Media. Compaq 6510B. And we're going to click on Find. It'll probably have the specs. It'll, it should pull up this laptop. It does, but however, when we scroll down, oh, it doesn't even see. It doesn't even have the button, the drop down now. No software or drivers are available for this product. Okay, well, maybe, maybe if we select an operating system first. This, I think, yeah, this has a Vista sticker on it. So we'll choose Windows, and then we'll choose Vista, and I think it had 64-bit. And then we'll click change and then maybe we'll be nope or come on okay so I was correct there is no recovery media I didn't think there would be because this computer let's see does it have a manufacturing date I would say this is probably six years old at least maybe old, closer to ten six years 2010 they probably eh, that's probably way too yeah I would say closer to ten this is a dual core I don't know. Laptops can brand new laptops can be had on eBay and Amazon for years and years after they're manufactured. So you just never know, but I'm just saying. It it came with a 3-year warranty. Wow. So as you can see, if you scroll down, they've got decent support. They've s still got drivers for it, which is good. In my opinion, Dell and HP do a pretty good job when it comes to support for their older computers. They're not perfect, that's for sure. But considering you know, how these billion-dollar fascist corporations, how cheap they are, they're cheapskates, they do a halfway decent job. Utility tools, so there is no option here. There is no recovery media. So you can't order recovery media. There's utility tools. There's nothing. And I'm not surprised. And I figured that was the case because this is an older laptop. Now what you could do if you're desperate enough, I hate to, you know, yeah, you're basically desperate at this point. If your hard drive is failing or it died or you bought this laptop second hand and you want to reinstall the operating system that was shipped OEM original equipment manufacturer like Vista or whatever and you don't have any media and you're just 
you could load Linux, <laughs> but you know, you could still con. I would still recommend that you contact Hewlett Packard. Now, a lot of times down below, as above, so below, man, man, that's a duality. The system to me uses dualities against you. They use two value logic against you. You notice in politics, they get you, they scam you into choosing a side. They want you to either become a Democrat or a Repub Repugnant. Repugnant or Demon Crap. Well, that to me is by design to get you to fight with each other. You pick a side and then you fight with the opposing side. And guess what? The government and the military continues to control you and every facet of your life and causes problems. I don't see where. Sometimes on these pages, they'll have a contact HP support like somewhere around here. Whoops. My bad. Let's. Oops, I forgot to screen capture that. It doesn't matter. It didn't show up, see? See, there is no... There is no order ability. You cannot order recovery media for this laptop. It's it's screen captured. So let's see, where's the contact HP support? This is where these companies piss me off. Sometimes down here there will be oh there'll be a contact HP support link or do you need help? And where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? You know what I'm saying? Let's see, maybe down here, shop online, uh, call an HP rep, contact HP. You could possibly call them, email them. Do they have a live chat? You know what I'm saying? So if necessary, you could try to contact them. Support, go. No, they really don't, so... I, maybe I need to make a, a separate video documenting and showing you how to call Hewlett Packard, like try to find 800 numbers that are toll free, they don't cost you money, email Hewlett Packard or chat online, live chat. I don't rely on these billion dollar corporations, I don't. I use their websites, but I never call them. Unless it was like a warranty scenario. Other than that, no, I don't want, no, fuck no. I don't waste my time calling these billion dollar corporations. No, why would I? You know what I'm saying? So there we go. HP PC recovery. How to order Hewlett Packard. Now, this video is current. So I'm not sure if HP is going to change their process, but as of the blog post I wrote and as of this video, this is how you can order Hewlett Packard recovery media directly from their website which does not require a phone call and it might be quicker and more convenient for you. Adios!